Hi, it's Stephen from Oh Not Disso. Well, I've got the uh, Legion 7 here. You know, it's about a year old, 5800H, the 3070. It's been my, you know, go-to laptop, you know, for that period. I've been doing all my editing on it and whatever gaming as well I've been doing on it as well. And initially, the, the thermals were pretty good, eh? I mean, they were pretty decent. Um, but, but, you know, it's only a year, just over a year old, and I noticed when playing games, certainly like No Man's Sky or Far Cry 6 or... Battlefield, something where the CPU is getting used quite a bit. Um, CPU would run easily in the mid nineties, you know, and uh, I'd have to game on uh, on silent mode really to to make it worth <laughs> to bring it under the ninety degree mark, which is crazy for something you know not that old. And of course, Lenovo is supposed to use their proprietary paste. I don't know what hell that is, but obviously, it wasn't doing the job. And of course, the Legion Seven. Does have a does have a vapor chamber as well, so you think it should be like you know dog's bollocks, shouldn't it? Really, it should be good. So I decided. Well, I know it's got a very good warranty. You know, you can uh, even after it's expired, you can update the warranty. Uh, you know, up to two years. Guys, come to the house and fix it. But you may want to have a look at it yourself, and it's not too daunting. You know, I know many people get scared of it, and there's no warranty stickers like MSI you have to pierce or anything even on the uh, on the vapor chamber itself so first off uh, I'm just going to show you how I did that and show you the results afterwards so you will once you're inside you uh, disconnect the battery uh, and then uh, remove the, the the SSD covers uh, the uh, the metal covers there because that does reveal some screws um, you remove those uh, and then once you remove the then you remove the the, the fan screws and uh, disconnect the fans, of course, and then uh, the screws holding the, uh, the the vapor chamber on are actually numbered. You know, sort of the tension uh, or the pressure is even when you're actually tightening it on. So go around and just loosen those off, and then with both hands, just carefully pull up the, the vapor chamber so as not to bend anything, because you still want it nice and flat, don't you, of course. So once you've got that removed, clean everything off, clean all the gunk off using isopropyl alcohol and uh, I actually use G-Lid GC Extreme. I found it's very good as the as the replay. So I put a P-size spot on the CPU and the GPU and carefully replaced the, the, the cooling apparatus there and tightened up the screws in order as uh, as shown on the vapor chamber. So the results after, you know, so beforehand you know, in, in No Man's Sky, the CPU is running 96 degrees and the GPU 66. And uh, after they replace the CPU, now at 88 degrees and uh, the GPU at 67 degrees. So that is a good win for me. Uh, games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider in the 70s. So, But the worst case situation here, you're looking around about 88, 88 degrees or so. Um, so I think that's all in all is a good win. And I certainly encourage anybody to, to give it a go. It's dead easy. A lot less hassle than getting somebody else to do it. And, you know, there's no way of them knowing that you've done it. You know, so it shouldn't you know, affect your warranty at all there, I don't think. Um, but also, I'm actually looking to sell it. You know, I do have another laptop which I'm using. Um, so I'm looking for probably about $1,100 if anybody is interested. The only thing wrong with it, there's nothing wrong with it, the laptop itself, but there's a little nick on the lid here. It's very small. You know, you only can see if you're looking for it, really. So there's that. Um, but other than that, it works fine. And of course, now it runs cooler as well. And like I said before, you can up, uh, up, update the, the warranty information. Just log in with a serial number and you can just pay for up to two years, even in-house service. So that's fantastic for Lenovo. So, uh, yeah, $1,100. Um, got to be in the USA. Um, and, and pay by PayPal. Now, the PayPal... Registered, regi registered address for PayPal has got a match shipping address because someone tried to scam me once and robbed me of uh, $2,000. So that's not going to happen again. So that's uh, US only. Um, there you go. So the full specs of the Legion 7 is a 5800H CPU, uh, RTX 3070, 165 hertz, QHD, 2560 by 1600 G-Sync panel. Um, it's also got uh, one terabyte SSD. I upgraded the RAM to 32 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 megahertz. Now it is uh, dual rank by 8 compared to the original single rank by 16, which was slower. So this is going to be the fastest RAM you can get there. And uh, if you're interested, contact me, the email address below, and I'll also put that in the description. Thanks again. And then if, we, you know, if I don't, we don't talk again, I wish you all a Merry Christmas. And uh, you know, I'll be looking uh, to do some CES coverage shortly. Thank you. Bye.